Hi everyone. In this lecture, we'll see another numerical based on energy signal and power signal. So, find whether the below signal is energy signal, power signal or neither energy nor power signal. So, x of n is equal to what? u of n minus u of n minus 6. Okay. So, now you should know about u of n. So, u of n is something like this, right? In step signal. So, it will start from n is equal to 0. So, basically, u of n will give 1 for n greater than equal to 0, like this. Fine. Now, plot the graph for u of n minus 6. So, n minus 6 means the signal will start giving some value from n is equal to 6, right? So, n is equal to 6. From here, it is defined, right? It means you will get 1 from n greater than or equal to 6 in this case. Now, our final signal is what? u of n minus, minus u of n minus 6. So, when you subtract this from this so it will define for which duration so see it is starting from 6 so starting from 6 onwards it will become 0 right at 6 also it will become 0 so the value you can expect from 0 to 5 which value 1 am i right hope this much is clear to you okay now let's calculate the energy of the signal. So energy of the signal E is equal to what? Summation of the absolute square of x of n over the range n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity. So instead of x of n you have u of n minus u of n minus 6, right? So replace this with this. Now you better know like it is only defined for n is equal to 0 to 5. Just now I explained you, right? For other samples, for other instant of time, it will give you what 0 because we are subtracting u of n minus u of n minus 6. So, I explained you this. So, it will only defined for n is equal to 0 to 5 and it will give what 1. Amplitude is 1, right? At every instant, like n is equal to 0, n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, n is equal to 0 to 5 is the limit. So, summation of 1 over the limit and ranging from 0 to 5, this will become what? 6, right? 6. So, 6 joules. Simple. 6 joule. Am I correct? Fine. Simple it is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, 6. This is at n is equal to 0, n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4, n is equal to 5, 6. It will become 6. Anyhow, it is n is equal to 0 to 5, n terms. So, n terms means what? The result, no, n is equal to 0 to 5. So, it becomes what? n plus 1 term. So, n plus 1 term means 5 plus 1, that is 6. So, you will get a 6 joule answer. So, this is what? Energy. Hope it is clear to you. Now, let us calculate the power. So, what is the formula for power? Limit n tends to infinity, n tends to what? Infinity, 1 divided by 2n plus 1, summation, range is n is equal to minus n2, capital N, and this we replaced, right? u of n minus u of n minus 6. In the actual formula, here it is x of n. We already know x of n is what? u of n minus u of n minus 6. So, hope this is clear to you. Now, here also the same story. So, n is equal to minus n to plus n. But we know it is only, this part is only defined for, it will give some value only from n is equal to 0 to 5. Am I correct? So, you can write this like simple limit n tends to infinity 1 divided by 2n plus 1 
and here it will only define from n is equal to 0 to 5 and it will give value what 1 so here it becomes like limit n tends to infinity 1 divided by 2n plus 1 into so summation n is equal to 0 to 5 this 1 the value is what 6 and here simply limit n tends to infinity so it will become 1 by infinity into 6 so basically it will give you what 0 0 right so what is the conclusion here energy is what finite right which is basically 6 joule energy is what finite and power is what 0 it means here x of n is what energy signal energy signal hope this much is pretty much clear to you so if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section that's all about the energy and power signals so thanks for watching this video